We now return to Let's Play Caesar 3. I just discovered the Zoom. Unfortunately, I don't remember what 100% is. I think it's this one. So, by the looks of things, it really seems like the amount of carts that get sent out are coming from the warehouse here. The demand is. I'm going to test this by setting this one to get as well. We'll see if someone else starts delivering. I don't mind pushing a car. It's more entertaining than the rest of this city. I see, okay. I guess they're, for some reason, feeling like they need to... full on armor? Never. We got a nice little cart full here. This is definitely not doing the trick. I guess I'm going to have to now go into a mode where I just alternate between emptying these forcefully and filling them back in. I see one. I'm still not seeing the load of carts coming this way. I guess, you know, in that case, maybe I just don't do this and I just have a train of guys coming across the goddamn map. Maybe that's the only way I can keep this full. Look how much damned food there is. I'll try and pay attention to this one and see when this one decides to empty itself. And what the fuck is a market lady coming all the way down here for? Did you see that? One, there's two. That's exactly how it works. How fucking stupid is that? It's not how it works in later games. So their demand for getting is what sends a cart out from one of these. In other games, I think even Pharaoh operates this way, where I want these to get, these will all work together to fill it. That's how this shit works. It's not how it works in Caesar, because Caesar's such a great fucking game. You gotta be kidding me. That is that is that is asinine. Holy shit. Okay, well what we're gonna do is we are going to eliminate this. We're going to begin emptying all of these granaries. And the only granaries that are ever going to be full are going to be the ones that will eventually be feeding people. If it's not feeding a person, we're just going to have a food train inefficiently taking food all across the goddamn map. So that people can eat. And you know what? You guys don't need to even be that full. Absolutely goddamn stupid. It's just, <laughs> it, it, it blows my goddamn mind. It really does. I am boggled by that. 
Okay, we need to turn off... need to turn off the big ones here, because I don't want to get people delivering just yet. But I do want to get some production started. Not that. Oh, look. I keep forgetting we don't have the people that I need just because we can't keep them fed. So the entertainment is clearly walking past these guys to get to this. Alright, well... Unfortunately... These ones can't get any. at any time. Just dumb. Just really, really dumb. Okay, I think it is safe to say, however, it's not coming back. So while we're waiting for our people to get fed, why don't we just go ahead and cause more of an issue where we just expand. Separate as much as possible. Let's see how well this works. Is we need a ridiculous amount of people for no reason. Just to make everything work for the game. An issue that I had with Pharaoh that continues. get some people in, even if it's just Tent City over here. to delete them right now just because I don't know if that guy is walking somewhere and if he is well 
it deletes all the food along with him. <laughs> ah! See, another, another good thing about having all of this here was that it was actually helping. It was helping empty these faster. So maybe I do actually want these. Maybe I do want them taking some just so this fills up. And eventually when these are all filled up, then maybe it's easier for them to drag out and supply. That would actually make sense. All right. That would, that would actually make sense. Alright, but we're going to set them to 18 and see if it does, in fact, remove it at 3 fourths. Because maybe 3 quarters is where this is set at. Before it'll take a load. It could also be messing with uh, how I set it, too. You know, when I change settings to be how much are you taking set it so that when it is going to a getting warehouse, it is always taking the big stuff. So maybe that's the problem. Maybe we don't want it to do that. Let's to get some pots. Looks like food supply is a little bit stabilizing up there. Alright, well, I mean, it's been a billion years, but they're somewhat happy. An appointment of 16. We've actually got some. them immediately. Gotta start paying for all this crap somehow. It is putting them rather close together. hoping is going to happen, that they will go in different directions more often than they'll go together. That's the dream, anyway. Look at that. Here's our thousand strong people again. I really guess I don't need to do this. I just don't want that pig farm. No, we're not going to do that. I was going to say, I could use this pig farm for something at least. I don't want it traveling all the way around when I need it to be filling this in. So I can set this to get. So at least has that. And we really... How much have we been sending? Ten? So... Jesus. Okay, sixteen then. 
Um, so we'll be holding on to half of it, and then I can tell it to accept from other places, and then that way we can at least maybe share the food a little bit. That seems reasonable. <laughs> we go back into pot making here. Faster is all. I don't know what the hell this is. It's it's because the guy is emptying it all the way up in here. Little by little. Instead of taking the whole damn thing and just shoving it into the next warehouse. Yeah, they definitely got that right in later games, and it just, it, it sucks in this game. The, the, the logistics sucks in this game. It's awful. Okay. Well, they started taking some. I mean, I guess it works. wait for this to fill in, and then we hope that this will be enough, sending things up this way. I suppose if I told them all to get, they would intersperse, it's about the only way we're going to do this. So they all need to be get, but let's set that down to half. If that's the way we're going to do it, let's set it down to half. I'll set this one up to a little bit more than half. I want one that's actually going to have all the, the food. Man, that is, that is so backwards. I can't believe I spent one, like, five episodes so far just trying to get the goddamn food production chain to work out, right? Well, if you've had enough of this series, um, this is the last mission I'm gonna, I'm gonna do here. I've, I've seen enough. Um, <clears throat> the mod, the mod improves the experience, definitely. Um, not enough, not enough to, to make me want to play beyond this. The more I play, the more holes I see in its design and just everything about this. It's, uh, it's a bad experience. Right. It's our goddamn advisor. a few people. Let's... Get into that a little bit. This isn't doing the job.
I guess as long as they're able to pick a little bit of food every now and then. These guys aren't going to get any. This is going to take forever to empty out. And just now, only just now, am I above the halfway point. This isn't a get. I didn't tell this to get. Why are they going this way? Surely this is closer. I am so goddamn confused by what is going on right now. This is, this is fucking ridiculous. So much. Look at look at this food production. In any other game in this series, if I had this many farms, I would be able to feed everybody. Just everybody. And it's all here, but I can't get it to anybody. I, just, I can't get it to people. Maybe this is the dumb idea. Maybe this doesn't work. I was hoping what I was going to see here was eight different guys like this popping out of here all the fucking time. Instead, I see two. He's not even the full one. He's just a guy. I'd have to import timber to make furniture. How the fuck does that make sense? I have a furniture maker, but I don't have the ability to get a raw material from it. Alright, let me just look at these ratings here. What do I need for this? It's rising grape. Not enough libraries, you know. Favors out, outstanding. Uh, we've managed to do this, so this, this is what I need. The only way you're going to get prosperity up is to improve upon this. most successful area over here. I guess I could technically do this, too. This is a closed loop. Instead of filling it in with crap, I could actually turn this into a house loop as well. Look at this, no problems. Obviously, because supply chaining. So, I guess you could just plow over this. Ignore the fact that any of this exists here. Build 
I could maybe get a housing block in here. Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, nine to a side with a road, yeah, you'd be scraping here, but you could get a nine by nine and therefore another nine by nine here. You get this, and you could get this. So when you consider these are two nine by nine blocks, it could fit over here. You could actually get the majority of your stuff over here, and you could even actually build up here. So, the best building spot on the map is actually not. Eh, well, here too, because actually this is not too terrible. I mean, if you were if you were using it to be supplied here, but see, then all you'd have to do is make a tiny little housing block here, with like all your centralized granaries and whatnot up on along the shore, and then they could get fun funneled over to here. Or no, I guess they they would be here. Like you you could keep this island as is, and just feed it to this over here. So yeah. Like, honestly, at this point, I'd be better off just knocking this whole thing out. Just erasing it. And just squeezing in shit over here. And then, of course, building around here. Like, that that's how you do this. Which could just be alleviated if there was a walkthrough, like, right there. Or a way down from here. On all sides of the cliff, like in Zeus. But no, let's let's make half of the map absolutely useless. All of this out here absolutely useless because you can't get down on that side either. So why is this even here? Yeah, this just this doesn't work. So I will be eliminating all of these. I'll just be emptying it. And we will have a train of carts literally just chugging along everywhere. I, I really thought that was what was going to do it. Once these filled in, I fully expected like eight guys to be going out filling up granaries, but they're not. I mean, five, you know, turned all of these to gets. Where are they? I see two. I see the two guys, the one and a half guys. So, it'll look like a circus, but, you know, what else are you going to do? Um, yeah, so it is time to add this in. And let's go ahead and just put a roadblock right here. That is outside of fertility. somehow. I'll just try and fill in all these people. I have a million of them, so why not? I wonder if I can... No, there'd be no reason to do that. Just turn that down. Appears to have. Oh, that, there's a thing in my way. What is 
does that go? I'll be damned. That literally go all that way? Well, no, I guess it doesn't. It would go to here. Just gonna draw a line right there. What I was afraid of, I should have done it backwards like that. I'm sure that's a fair amount of people that I should probably be keeping an eye on. people coming in. We'll, we'll make do. And yeah. It'll take forever. You know, by the time they get back, there will definitely be very, very full granaries. Or full fields uh, that have yet to be placed anywhere. But... Hopefully, by the time we've filled this all in, the chain will be long enough that it will keep people fed. Housing cannot evolve, it does not have a bathhouse. It is easy enough to remedy. No, it does. It'll be the hospital. And what else? We need a school. No, we got a school. I need an academy. Trying to save space. It's not actually going to be as useful there. So far out here, we need it to be 16. People aren't moving in as rapidly as I would like. Okay, now see, this is what I'm talking about here. taking it backward. That is helping no one. This should be their first port of call, which it looks like it is. And then these guys here are taking it backwards Instead of going to the five get granaries that are demanding the good. Get one 
two, three more in there, okay. I, I would think that this would be comical, except that it's not. <laughs> it's just, it's not. I can't see the road to doing this. I can't see the road to getting this done. Supply. No, we don't need the soldiers anymore either. production chain for more of the uh, pottery. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I just had poor expectations, thinking that if they figured it out in Pharaoh, in Zeus, and in Emperor, that it was a mechanic that would have worked the entire series. I, you know, you'd think that the, the daisy chaining warehousing thing would have worked just like it does in the other games to keep yourself supplied. That is not the case. That is not the case. They, I, I have no idea where they're taking all this shit. And frankly, I don't think they know either. Things would just not sit in the field. They would all go somewhere. Like, it, it, you'd never have this problem in Zeus. Because all the little farms have a seasonal thing where they would reach 
harvest month and then they would just all go and they would go to the first warehouse or the first granary say okay this is at its max it's full now let's move on to the next one and the next one and the next one prioritizing the getting warehouses so they'd actually all fill up these ones first and then go to the first one here and then and then when they reached a place where they could no longer go when everything was full up they would just sit outside and they could be sitting there for months until something empties and then they'll go fill it one at a time that was one of the things that in my previous series I never had to worry about and I had comments build more warehouses build more granaries for no reason other than just to keep those things stockpiled but by, by having that that backlog just waiting outside my shit never emptied because as soon as a, there was a hole it would fill up again this amount of farms would keep a huge city full all the time topped up all the time doesn't do that in Caesar for some reason somehow it just doesn't do it in Caesar and they thought that this was all right thought that this was okay I mean they didn't they didn't think it was okay because they fixed it they fixed it so it didn't work like this anymore that it worked the way it did in Caesar and I would say I guess Pharaoh too the land farm well no it, it didn't there were no land farms because they were all along the inundation and they would actually do that from the inundation fields but then if there wasn't a place they would sit in the farm and in, in the fields and then they'd get flooded and they'd die and then uh, emperor was different because of the way farms worked farms were different you could actually rotate crops they were not buildings yeah and Zeus Zeus and Pharaoh you could daisy chain supplies and just be topped up all the time in this game you've got one guy delivering by the time he gets back you've got this sitting there waiting waiting and waiting I don't know. I don't know how many more episodes I want to dedicate to this stupid goddamn mission. We're almost there, population-wise. Everything else, not so much. Uh, largely because we can't can't get this stuff evolved. But if I evolve them, they're going to have food issues, needing food, and we can't keep this supplied. I mean, you can see we got tents sitting here for some inexplicable reason and again I can't evolve these ones either so I'm, I'm being held hostage up here by the fact that I just can't get the supply chain over here for no reason there, there's literally no reason for them not to be full all the time this this idea should have worked out so I guess I can try and kick myself over the thousand mark down here but again we're not gonna hit culture and prosperity sitting that way because the housing level will be dragging this down the entire time I can't I can't get it in there well shit I thought I was gonna get more I guess I can get one that way, that way, and that way. There, that's that's how we do it. Now the the Roman Empire, famed for its trade routes and 
the wealth that crossed the empire. Not in this game. Not in this game. You have two trade partners. Wait, what the fuck? Just insane. And then, you know, on top of that, it, they decide, you know what? Let's make a mission where you don't have access to one of the two trade partners, or in this case, probably both. I haven't been reading the messages. Which is kind of funny. I had much different expectations for this game. I mean, I guess I could feed people pigs. The reason it's suggested to do wheat, though, is because, you know, this grows so fast that it keeps all of this going. That's, that's literally the whole idea here. So, culture is actually pretty easy to pop up. I think it's prosperity. The overall quality of your housing is keeping this back. Yeah, well, I mean, there's your answer right there. We'll never reach it because of these dragging everything down. And of course, we're in now in a, a bind there. Theater. There you go. And then we'll do a. Is it a lion hunt? Gladiator school. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I can't, uh,. sell vine, that makes... Okay, well, we can begin importing fruit, I guess. It's not going to be nearly enough of anything. Well, 15. 15 is the max. Now, now these are just completely empty because by the time this chain moves back here... So it doesn't work to have everyone walk across the map, obviously. That's why I didn't do that first thing. And it doesn't work to have a supply point because it just sits in there. Taking way, way too long to distribute. Which, I mean, it just, it doesn't, it just doesn't distribute. That's the aggravating part, is that it doesn't distribute. So, I don't know. I will never, will never raise the prosperity levels of these places. These places are doing just fine. Without basically restarting the entire level over uh, and just clumping it all together here on these little little islands here, ignoring all of this. Um, there's no way to do this. We'll never build the prosperity up enough. Because the minute I try and evolve any of these, the demand on the already tenuous food situation will just kill it. We'll never get these guys fed. There will never be enough of a food chain to keep them fed. I mean, if maybe it's these guys, but, you know, we have no population, so we have no, I mean, we're, we're, we're fucked, basically. This all just evolved, but how many people are coming? Probably not enough. 
So I'll build another little housing block here, you know what I mean. Like, it's just, it's not worth it. It's not worth the time. So, since I have no intention of continuing playing the game, uh, there's no reason to even finish the mission, to be honest with you. Um, this is fucking stupid, is all I can say. This is just absolutely ridiculous. And, um, I think it's pretty obvious why they fixed it in later games. Why they didn't do this. Um, it's just, it's, it's dumb. It just makes no sense. It's really not a city building game. It's really not. It feels more like a strategy game with city building elements. You know, like, there's an optimized way of doing all of this stuff, and when you're done, it doesn't look like a city. It, it just, it, it looks ridiculous, is what it, it's just, I don't know. It's not, um, it has not been enjoyable for me to play pretty much from the beginning, and um, I do not intend to even try any of the other Caesar games. Uh, not even number four, which was made by Tilted Mill, because they, just, they don't make good games anyway, so it's not worth trying. Um, so don't ask. Uh, this is it. So, yeah, I'm going to end this one here. Maybe, maybe some of you enjoyed it. I don't know. I definitely didn't. Um, I'll see you in the next Let's Play.